Thank you, Edo. And I'm very happy to be here. And also thank you to my colleagues from Paris. It is really interesting to see how it works. Also your strategies and the thing with the publisher. So welcome everybody. My name is Sandra Leheka and I'm the Network and Outreach Manager of the Austrian Center for Digital Humanities at the Austrian Academy of Sciences in Vienna. I have graduated in graphic and communication design, library and information studies, and I have also a background in the humanities which started my interest in digital approaches and methods. In this presentation, I will outline the network and outreach strategies at the Austrian Center for Digital Humanities, short ACDH, and present some of our specific activities. The ACTH is one of our 29 institutes and one of the newest in the academy. It was founded last year in 2015 to foster the course of the humanities through the application of digital methods and tools. Currently, there are 45 researchers and staff, staff members working at the institute. The key to any successful outreach strategy is to figure out who is your target audience. Scientific publications are only one way to engage with the public, but another way is to actively communicate with different stakeholders, such as researchers, students, funders, and press, and the interested public in general. In pursuing this goal, the ACDH has established a specific task force on network and outreach that strives to disseminate the ACDH research results and services to TH stakeholders at institutional, national, and international level. Our declared goals are first to raise awareness of the benefits of innovative approaches, second to encourage researchers to make use of digital technologies and third, to gain increased credibility within the scientific community and the broader public. In this context, the network and outreach strategy of the ACTH combines several approaches. For the purpose of this presentation, we have selected three different activities, which, we will, which I will be describe in more detail. The ACTH lecture, the ACTH tool gallery, and social media. The ACTH lectures are among the first formats we have established. For the ACTH lectures, we invite international researchers, practitioners, and experts from various humanities disciplines to reflect on the significance of digital research in their fields and to share their insights about the future of their research. For example, our recent ACTH lecture was given by Alexandra Angelidaki, a librarian, archaeologist, and museum researcher from the University of Science and Technology in Trondheim in Norway, who provided us insights into the use of virtual reality technology in the museum library sector. Here you can see further material and, material and slides regarding these lectures, which are also available on our ACDH website. In addition, we also started to record the lectures to post them on our special ACDH YouTube channel. After having organized two lecture seasons, we would like to share our experience and give the following, following recommendations. First, um, advertisements, safety date reminders, and promotion activities well in advance are important to reach many guests. We normally promote the lecture at least six weeks before it takes place. For this purpose, we make use of our mailing list 
Twitter and reg re registration tools of the ACDH website. In order to get much interested as possible, the voice of the speaker is crucial. Simply put, the more prominent the speaker, the larger the audience. In addition, of course, the day and time of the lecture is also important for participants. For example, Mondays and Fridays are usually not so well attended. <laughs> A lecture shortly after, work, shortly after working hours from 5 p.m. seems to be most suitable for the most of, most of our guests. The ACDH tool galleries are our most successful events. Thereby, we offer researchers hands-on training on particular topics where no other education and practical training is available. In these one-day workshops, experts showcase innovative and well-trialed tools and services. The invited experts lead the group step-by-step step through the collective demo in the morning, after which the participants can experiment with their laptop and own data in the afternoon. The target group consists of researchers from all humanities disciplines, as well as the employees of the academy and other scientific institutions, such as libraries and archives. The ACDH tool gallery is a free of charge offer not only for researchers of the Austrian Academy of Sciences, but for all interested persons. A certificate is being awarded at the end of these events. This slide shows that our ACDH tool gallery events are advertised intensively through the ACDH website. The Austrian Academy of Sciences website, it's behind, and various mailing lists, posters, and social media, in that case, Twitter. Our website also provides slides to download and to further material on these events. Furthermore, I would like to present results of personal data from the regist registration and from a survey we conducted on participants of the ACDH tool gallery events. From the 20, 241 participants, 25% registered for more than one event. We also found out that the gender distribution was fairly balanced. As the next figure indicates, most of the participants were researchers from humanities, but also had, uh, we had also archivists, librarians, and computer scientists. Based on our experiences, we also have some recommendations in order to make training events such as the ACDH tool galleries more successful and effective. A limited number, mm, between 20 and 40, of participants thorough preparation on both sides, speakers and organizers. Workshops should be offered on a regular basis. The program should be tailored to the requirements of the participants. And sufficient time and space for question and debates must be scheduled. Um, yeah, and here you can see also a recent tweet from our last ACDH tool gallery. It's one of our guests. Finally, we started to use social media tools. Social media communication has become a challenge to be reckoned with, and scientific institutions specializing in using dealing with Twitter, Facebook, blogs, grow up and grow and promote content. Using uh, social media enables us to directly interact with our colleagues and the public in a broader manner. The most appropriate social media channel depends on the specific purposes, on the country, 
on the subject area and on the target group. So far, we have decided to use primarily Twitter and YouTube because we assume to find and reach our community there. We just started on Twitter in July this year and Twitter enables us to easily transfer knowledge to a large target group and to share new ideas and to promote our research. We attempt to convey various types of information to post news, projects, publications, research results, job offers, and portraits of our researchers. While the spontaneity and responsiveness of social media may involve new challenges, of course, they help to reach new target groups and to interact within the community in a direct and vivid manner. For example, during this presentation, I have posted a live tweet and you are most welcome to look it up and follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter profile is called, you can see it there, ACTH underscore OEAW. While we mostly focused on Twitter, we also make use of YouTube. The slide shows screenshots of our YouTube channel, our account, and two of our recently uploaded ACTH lecture videos. Let me show you some statistics on our Twitter account. Uh, Twitter analytics shows that our followers are interested in uh, books, news and information, and science news. Mostly we get reactions and attention during weekdays and not weekends. Our followers are 60% uh, male and 40% female. After more than 450 tweets, I think uh, there are more than 500, but yeah. Uh, since July 2016, we can give our following recommendations for most successful tweets in our field. Uh, first, create and track a social media editorial calendar. Importantly, the use of images increases the click and retweet rate. Furthermore, hashtags are used as keywords on Twitter. The use of recurring hashtags make it easier to search for information. For example, the Dual Gallery or the TEI Conf 2016 in Vienna. On this account, um, use one till three hashtags and, ad and address the tweets to connect with people or institutions, if possible. One should always keep in mind that you should post what people are interested in and most popular for our followers are, for example, conference program links, job offers, registrations, and submission deadlines. Last but not least, don't underestimate the support of your colleagues regarding social media. It is important that your colleagues understand why you use social media. A social media strategy cannot be success successfully employed by a single person. While it is not necessary for all of your colleagues to participate in social media, at least they should understand why this strategy is pursued. Well, to conclude, network and outreach should move out from the ivory tower. In this context, we established our task force just a year ago, pursuing our goals with different measures, such as ACDA lectures, ACDH tool galleries, and social media communication. I hope that all of you got a first insight into our activities and feel inspired by our ex examples. Maybe you already have some ideas, as my colleagues from Paris, which one of them could also be established at your institute. Um, in this context, I'm also interested in your experiences of outreach strategies. But do you have any suggestions or examples to share with us? Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions? Yes. 
Thank you very much. Um, I must confess that I was particularly interested, but also um, impressed in a in a somewhat frightening way by the emphasis on the social media aspect, which which you uh, had in your paper. Obviously, it makes makes a lot of sense. Um, but but what I always find difficult with the social media approach is the transiency of the communication that, that happens there. I mean, you draw attention to something um, very quickly, mm. it comes and it goes. Um, you said, okay, it's searchable. I don't know how many people really search y using hashtags for mm. a particular topic. Um, have you... Have you uh, produced any statistics on searches run <coughs> over hashtags? Can you capture that in your system somehow? You mean researchers, they use hashtags? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's possible to look it on uh, Twitter. It's uh, open for everyone, so you can look and um, take the hashtag and no, uh, what I meant was, have you analyzed that? Have, no, have, have no, you analyzed the, the user behavior based on social media? <laughs> no, this is not uh, really done, but okay. I will Thank do you. that. Yeah. Microphone to anybody? Okay, so uh, this way we have concluded this session. And now we move, we move on to the applause. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> and then to the lunch.